Good morning, class. Good morning. Good morning. So, before we start our class, I got question to ask you all. First, I want Khadija to answer my question. Yeah. Stand up, please. How many races are there in our class? Sorry? How many races oh. are there in our Two. class? Two. What yes. are the races? Uh, Malay and Chinese. And who are Malays? Me and Shifa. Who are you? <laughs> who are you? I'm your student. <laughs> and what is your name? Khadija. Okay, Khadija. Malay. So we have Khadija. <coughs> Shifa. And Shifa. Thank you. Sure, you may sit now. So, why do I ask Khadija about uh, what races do we have in this class? Because I'm going to teach you all about set. So, what is a set? A set is a collection or group of objects which has a common property. So, what is the common property between Shifa and Khadija? Jiehui, can you answer? Same races. Same races. What's the race? Mm, Malay. Malay, right. Because Shifa and Khadija are Malays. That's why they are considered as a set. Okay, next. What do we call individual objects in a set? We will call it as element. Okay, element. So, Khadija is actually an element of this set. And Shifa is also the element of this set, which is Malay. So next, we'll learn how to describe or define a set. So first, we can <coughs> define a set using description. We just talk. So this is the set of Malay student in the class. We just use our normal words, or you can say the set of students in the class who are Malays, using your own words or language. Second, we can use set notation. We got three ways to write the set notation. First way is you must write like this: capital A. You can label the Malay set as A equal to bracket Malay students in this class. You must make sure that you use the capital letter when you are labeling the set. Okay, and then you must use this kind of brackets. Curly bracket. Yeah, curly bracket. That's right. You cannot use this kind of bracket or the square brackets. Be careful when you write the set notation, you must use this curly bracket. Okay, next. You may also write the set notation in terms of elements. Like just now, we say the Malay student in this class are Khadija and Shifa. So you just insert the elements in this set notation. Okay? Last but not least, you can also write like this. Okay? X, uh, the comma there, X is a Malay student in this class, which means X is all the students in this class, and then which is a Malay student in this class. Okay? So, now, I want to test whether you all understand or not my teaching. I would like to invite three students to write the set notation for me for the Chinese in this class. Okay, who wants to try for the first method? Okay. You. <laughs> okay, please come up. The, the, the Chinese. The part A, is it? Yes. Some as that one. Yes. Okay. Can I use B? Sure. Okay. Because if you are labeling another set. This is the way of how you label a set. Good job, Liu. Thank you. Because you are labeling another set, right? So you can use B or C or any other alphabet instead of A. And then you use curly brackets. And then you mention Chinese students in this class. Okay, who wants to try method B? Okay, Shawan, good. <laughs> you even bring your own marker. I see you are very <laughs> supportive. <laughs> Shall 
Sean's answer. Do we have Sean in this class? Yes. yes. Do we have Aijing in this class? Yes. No? No? Yes. no? Really? Then, do we have water? Yes. yes. Do we have Tiehui? Yes. yes. So, guys, do you think this is correct? Yes. yes. Yes, right? You just changed the Malay to Chinese, okay? Easy, right? Yes. So, let's continue to exercise. So, please do this in pairs. Uh, solve both the questions and I will pick up uh, the students to do in front of you. I'll give you one minute. Don't forget to do your homework. 